Hi everyone, my name is Krista. Welcome back to Kingdom Lifestyle. And today I wanted to share with you what the Lord is saying. And I feel like right now he is just speaking to his remnant and he is just wanting you to follow him. He's wanting you to lay down everything that stands between you and him that could hinder your call, that could give the enemy a foothold in your life. So anything in this world that you are clinging to, that you feel like you need to get through your day, that you need to um, feel like you are pleasing to others, or that makes it to where you're relying on something else for your comfort or for your um, self-worth, that is not coming from the Lord. And so he is just calling you today to put those things down as well as putting those mindsets down. All that that does, when we start relying on things outside of the Lord for our um, security, our self-worth, our um, protection, our guidance, um, what we do is we open up a door to the enemy to come in. And we also open up a door to confusion, um, which leads to doubt, unbelief, guilt, shame, all those things. Um, and ultimately sin. And right now God is just really wanting to purify his bride. He is wanting you to come out from the world. Um, I know my husband and I were talking last night where, you know, I had to learn how to operate in this world, but not be of it when we got married, because I just really kind of did my own thing. And I lived um, a life that was just kind of, you know, it was just kind of me and a couple other people. And it was really easy to kind of just do what God had, you know, put in me to do and to live just so sanctified to him. And when we got married, I had to learn how to be more of the, in this world because I now had children and I had a husband and I had all of these different things that God had blessed me with. But with that, I literally went through a season that was very difficult in that because I had to learn how to, had to relearn how to live in this world, but not be of it and how to operate in all of those different roles in this world, but not be, not become like it in any way, form or fashion and stay true to the person that God had made me to be and had um, and all the things he'd put in me, you know? And so I just wanted to share, I, I just wanted to share that little story with you because that really resonated with me of why I struggled so hard in that season because I was not wanting to, um, come away from anything that God had taught me. I didn't want to come away from him in any way, but I had all of these other roles that were leading me out. They were leading me into the world, right? They were taking me outside my comfort zones. They were, um, you know, at times pressing me on all sides and um, having to learn how to function in new spaces, but not become that and not be in that and how you learn to separate it. And so right now he is just calling you out of the world. He wants his bride and his remnant to function in the highest realms of society, right? So you have to learn how to be able to be in the world, but not of the world. But you can't be promoted and elevated and taken to new places if you don't learn how to do that because he wants his light to shine so bright that it illuminates the dark. So he wants you to come into a space, into a mountain of influence, into a new realm, a new sphere in this world and change it and be his image in it. And it takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of self-control. It takes your eyes consistently being on the Lord and what pleases him what is the most obedient thing you can do to him, for him in that moment to do that? And so he is wanting you to step forward and to step out. And he is wanting you to do it with complete obedience to him because people are watching you. People are going to see what you're doing and what you have, and they're going to want it. And they're going to say, well, what makes you this way? And you can give all the glory to God. And it is a beautiful thing. And I think he is so pleased with his people when they do that. The, like the worst thing you can be to the Lord is disobedient. And we are all guilty of it at times. But this is a call to come back. This is a call that every time you're faced with a choice to say, Lord, what do you want me to do? And what he says, without even thinking about it, just do it. 
just say okay. And in that, you die to yourself, you pick up your cross, and you live every day that way. And that is where your freedom is. That is where you are spiritually going to be freed. You are physically going to be freed because the things that hold people down in this world do not hold you down. They don't affect you the way they do other people. And you're able to move and to expand and to do more and to enjoy what God's given you to a completely different level. And that is what he is wanting from you today. He's wanting you to take that step of, of obedience. He's wanting to, you to walk away from the things that are holding you back, that are keeping you in that same place, that are making you have a different master. And it can just be one thing. And this isn't to condemn anyone. This isn't to put pressure on anyone. This is just what the Lord's wanting you to know. And this is just something that he is lovingly going to help you with. This is a message of love. And um, because he's your father, don't forget that he's your dad. Don't forget that if you are trying to do something and you mess up, it's like with your own kid. As When they're learning to walk, if they stumble, are you going to get mad at them and say, you should be able to walk by now. Get up. Try that again. You're horrible. No, you would say, oh my goodness. And you would go and you would help them up and say, let's try again. That's God because he loves you and he knows your heart and he knows when it's in the right place and he knows all the inner workings of your mind. And when you have a pure heart and you have a clean, you have clean hands and you are walking towards him and you are putting him in the forefront of everything that you're doing. He sees that, he knows that, and he honors that. And he treats you as his beloved child. Excuse me. He treats you as his beloved child. And you just have to honor him as your father. But that is what he's calling us to do today is to be obedient. Check the places in your life that are unchecked. Because we are walking into some amazing times, but also with that, there's going to be a lot of trials, of course. I mean, there are things going on around us that, you know, we have the power to pray over and we have the power to change because we have the resurrection power of Yeshua living inside of us. And do not forget that. Remember that every day. Don't ever think that your prayers don't matter or that you can't change a situation through it because you can. But it's going to take obedience. It's going to take always being in right standing with the Lord. So this is just a call to action. If there's any place in your life that is not submitted to God, go ahead and do that today. Have that conversation with the Lord. You know, Tell him you're going to be obedient in this season. You're going to walk with him every day. You're going to do and go where he tells you to do because I guarantee you that is the way. And that is going to be where you find that peace and you're going to be able to move forward in power, forward in power and authority. And I just hope that this helps you. I hope that this is a word that you needed to hear today. Um, I know it was for me and, you know, we all have to check our lives and we all have to make sure that we are standing, we are in right standing with the Lord and that we're doing exactly what he wants us to do because his plan for us is so much greater than you can ever imagine. And you'll only get there if you're doing what he tells you to do. So I encourage you to be obedient. I encourage you to do a check of inventory and I bless you today and I thank you so much and I will talk to you soon.